Welcome back to another episode of Archie Sonic Character Files as we explore the histories of the inhabitants on planet Mobius. In this episode, we take a look at the history of a sibling to a well-known bounty hunter known as Nicolette the Weasel, or Nick for short. Recently, Nax slash Fang has been pretty active in some recent Sonic media, from showing up in Sonic Superstars to getting his own spin-off comic in the IDW Sonic universe, so I figured this would be a nice opportunity to talk about his sister. Yes, there is some piece of official Sonic media where this guy has a sister. Nick the Weasel made her first appearance in the Knuckles the Echidna spin-off comics, from issue 26 through issue 28. After hearing rumors about some Power Stones still existing in one of Robotnik's now-abandoned slave labor camps, she finds someone who has been to one of those camps to help her out, and that someone just so happens to be Mighty the Armadillo. She persuades him at the chance that his friend Ray the Flying Squirrel might still be alive at that place after he disappeared years ago, and they fly off to the camp in Nick's shuttle. She meets up with her partner in crime, Fiona Fox, who isn't too thrilled about the idea of being reunited with Mighty. After doing some searching around, they find the vault that Nick was after, and with Mighty's help, they find both Ray and the Power Stone now trapped in limbo. She tries to neutralize the gem with her gun, but it ends up disappearing and freeing Ray. She's not too thrilled about losing the Power Stone, but at least Mighty is happy to be with Ray once again. The next time we would see her would be in issue 91 of the main series, along with issues 93 and 94. Around this time, Knuckles was going through his Chaos Knuckles phase where his powerful chaos energy was awakening, and was now seen as a dangerous threat to the Albion High Council. Their leader, Galena, contacted Nick for her assistance, along with Knack, to find and capture Knuckles and bring him to them so that they can drain him of his chaos power. Despite the two weasels not liking the idea of having to work together, the High Council promises to reward them handsomely for their skills, so they're willing to put aside their sibling rivalry for the time being. They soon find Knuckles chatting with Chami B and his fiance Saffron B. Nax shows up telling Knuckles to follow him, or else Nick will shoot the couple, so he agrees to his demands. After that, Knuckles was brought over to the council, and the two weasels were paid for their services, as long as they forgot this whole thing ever happened. Satisfied with the loot, Nick and Nack packed up and headed back to Nick's new shuttle, the Bounty One, with the goods. As they took off, they saw that the council's attempts to drain the chaos energy from Knuckles has failed, and he is now teleported somewhere else. Galena tries to call on their services to recapture the powered up Echidna, but the Weasels refuse the offer and head out. And that's pretty much it for Nick the Weasel. The last time we would see her again would be a brief cameo in a flashback from issue 165, showing that Nick and her former partner Fiona have had a history of dealing with Rouge the Bat during their treasure hunting days. And that's the history of Nick the Weasel, the less popular bounty hunter of the underground. Yeah, it might seem odd seeing Knack having a sister, but then again, Sonic himself is no stranger to having siblings in other official Sonic media. As for the character herself, she's okay, just following in the footsteps of her brother. Then again, it's unclear if they're the same age or if one is older than the other. I always felt like Nick was one of those characters that had potential to be used more instead of just showing up in these two, three-part stories. But alas, despite her limited screen time, she seems to be not as ruthless as Knack. Sure, she does have an attitude and that eyes on the prize kind of thing, but it looks like she does have a soft spot like being concerned about Mighty being so quiet during their trip, or this shot where she shoots the Power Stone. I always found that odd. It's like she's willing to sacrifice the stone to save Ray after hearing Mighty's sob story, but then she yells at him saying that he owes her one for losing the stone. I always kind of saw her as the more successful bounty hunter when compared to Knack, scoring a lot more money to afford all those aircrafts and all that. The first one just looks like a generic spaceship, but then you got the second one called the Bounty One, which looks cooler and... Okay, it's obviously just the freaking Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. Well, her second appearance was written by Ken Pender, so of course there's gotta be some sci-fi stuff thrown in. And she claims that she got it from an old boyfriend, so apparently she went out with Han Solo at one point. Huh. I think I could have thought of something more unique and original, like make a more sleeker version of Max Hovercraft, Something that's like the newest model, so that she can gloat about it to her brother. As for her design, it's not that great. Like, the idea of Knack having a sister is good on paper, but design-wise, it just looks like a female Knack. And we don't even get much screen time of them over their sibling rivalry. Heck, we barely get any screen time of Nick and Fiona going on adventures. Though I guess you could argue that since we already have Knack, we don't really need two bounty hunter weasels. 
One reason why she wasn't used much was that writer Ian Flynn really didn't like the character and was planning to reveal that she would have just been killed off screen somewhere. But when he mentioned that on the old defunct Bumble King forums, people really wanted to see Nick come back in some way. So he decided to change his mind on the whole thing. And then the whole Ken Penders lawsuit happened and whatever ideas he had for Nick were quickly thrown out the window. Perhaps Ian Flynn could have given us some neat stories with Nick. And all we're left with is the complete Sonic Comic Encyclopedia keeping her whereabouts vague. Some say she retired from the whole bounty hunter gig, while others say she was murdered by her own brother. Although personally, I think this is what really happened to Nick. I hear that Yoda bloke that stole my airship. Now hand it over. Over my dead body. Speaking of which, that same book actually features an unused redesign of the character made by Jay Axer, one of the artists on Archie Sonic. Then again, this isn't the first time that he's helped out in designing some weasel characters for Archie Sonic. On one hand, I can see what they were going for in trying to make her stand out more, and I really dig the new outfit. But the overuse of pink for her fur is a bit much. Maybe it would have worked better if she had more of a light purple to her colors, and not just be the same color as Knack. Well, that takes care of this character file, so until then, I got a juice! I hear that Yoda bloke that stole my airship. Now hand it over. Cover my dead body. Thank <laughs> you.